We are gearing up to spend less money camping and more time off the beaten path. There are a couple things that you need to consider when you're dry camping. First, you have limits on water and of course limits on your tank capacity. And then also you have limits on electrical. Today I'm going to talk to you about a few ways that we address these issues with our Casita trailer. One of the things that Doug did recently was he replaced our 15 gallon tank with a 25 gallon tank. He had to make a couple modifications inside the trailer so that it would fit and so that we'd still have the storage space available. When our 25 gallon tank runs out, we have two of these seven gallon Aquatainer fresh water tanks. The containers are large enough to hold a sizable amount of water without being too heavy to carry. These containers are durable with an ergonomic handle. They also have a screw-on vent and a hideaway cap that makes for easy stacking. They're great when we're in campgrounds too, when we're not in proximity to a faucet. When we are filling our aquatainer tanks, we use the Camco RV water filler with hose. It makes it easy to fill up our freshwater tank using the aquatainer tanks. The Camco RV water filler with hose has an adjustment so that you can adjust how much water is going into your tank. When we have to transport the tanks when we're in a campground, we love our Ozark folding wagon. The Ozark folding wagon is collapsible, which is really great because we can store it in the back of our vehicle very easily. Plus, it has a telescoping handle that makes it very easy to pull. It has a tough steel frame and heavy duty wheels that can handle terrain just like this. The Ozark Trail folding wagon has lots of space, but yet it folds up to a very compact size. Another handy tool that we have when we need to fill up our water and we have access to a faucet, but maybe the threads are stripped or maybe like at a campground that there are no threads, we use the Camco Water Bandit. And we love this Camco Water Bandit because we can get water out of any faucet. It makes a really tight seal so it doesn't leak so you won't get it all over your pants and your shoes. When we do have to go out for water, we use the Camco Taste Pure water filter to make sure that our water going into our tank is filtered and clean. The Taste Pure water filter attaches to any standard hose connection. Of course, we always use a drinking water safe hose when we fill up our Casita trailer with water. We also try to conserve water whenever we're dry camping. That's why we bought the Oxygenic shower head. It's really great because it has a lot of pressure and so you feel like you're getting a lot of water but it really does conserve on water. When we're dry camping, we're taking military showers so it's really handy that it has this pause button. I set the temperature, I rinse off, then I turn it off, I lather up, and then I turn it back on again and rinse off. It saves a lot of water. To handle additional wastewater capacity, we also carry this handy tote along. This five gallon tote is light enough for us to carry, but it's good enough in case we get in a pinch. Hey, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. Another issue that you have to address when you're boondocking or dry camping is access to power. So we installed the Zamp Obsidian solar panels. We love these Zamp Obsidian solar panels because they keep our battery charged. We never have to worry about charging our battery before we go on a trip because our Zamp Obsidian solar panels have it already charged up when we're ready to go. Plus we can boondock or dry camp longer because we don't have to be hooked up to shore power in order to run the essentials like the water pump, the water heater, the lights, and the TV. It won't run our air conditioner, but that's why we bought the Honda EU2200i companion generator. This generator will power your microwave, your hair dryer, and some small AC units, and much more. And the EU2200i companion generator is super quiet. It's so quiet, your neighbors will thank you. It operates between 47 and 58 decibels, which is quieter than a normal conversation. And for a generator, it's incredibly lightweight and portable at 47 pounds. It's also very fuel efficient. It could run up to eight hours depending on the load. And I love that the EU2200i reliably powers my computer and other sensitive equipment. Along with our generator, we purchased the Honda adapter to make our generator RV ready. In addition, Doug had a locking mount installed so that we could mount this on our Stromberg Carlson trailer tray. 
We carry the Rotopax gas can so that we can refill our Honda generator. The Rotopax gas can is the toughest gas can available. That's why it's preferred by off-road enthusiasts. It's more durable than traditional gas cans because it has thicker walls that prevent bulging. And the Sure Seal makes it leak proof even when it's upside down. In order to mount the Rotopax gas can to your Stromberg Carlson trailer tray, you'll need the Rotopax L bracket single mounting plate. We have both our generator and our Rotopax gas can mounted onto our Stromberg Carlson trailer tray and Doug had a locking mount made for that. So we've got both the generator locked on here, and then we also have a lock for our Rotopax gas cans, so those don't get stolen while we're away. We stand by Rotopax products. We love this Stromberg Carlson trailer tray. This trailer tray can hold up to 300 pounds. It's lightweight and it's very durable. As you can see, it's mounted just above the propane tanks. Now we also have the Anderson no sway hitch. So Doug had to make some modifications to the Strummer Carlson trailer tray to fit the Anderson hitch. So if you're interested in seeing how he um, assembled that with the Anderson no sway hitch, then check out the video in the description. Another way that we get power is just by driving our trailer battery charging module charges our trailer when we're driving. It directs power to the battery when the engine is running and it disconnects when the engine isn't running. That way, our car battery doesn't get drained. If you'd like to see a tour of our Casita trailer, check out this video. If you'd like to watch TV with no Wi-Fi using your iPhone, check out this video.